The James Webb Space Telescope has recently made a discovery that could potentially change our understanding of the universe. Scientists have detected mysterious flickering lights emanating from a rocky planet located just four light years away. This planet, known as Proxima b, orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star infamous for its intense flares of radiation. The nature of these lights is not yet clear. Are they a signal from an extraterrestrial civilization, or are they simply an unexplained natural phenomenon? Proxima b is far from an ordinary exoplanet. Due to its proximity to Proxima Centauri, it is subject to gravitational locking. This means that one side of the planet is perpetually exposed to the star's light and heat, while the other side remains in constant darkness. This creates a unique planetary condition where one hemisphere is scorched and the other is frozen. However, at the boundary between these extremes, the so-called Terminator line conditions might be suitable for life, especially if Proxima b has an atmosphere capable of redistributing heat. Preliminary data from the James Webb Telescope hint at the possible presence of water vapor, methane and oxygen in the planet's atmosphere, though these findings are still awaiting confirmation. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of this discovery is the detection of unusual lights on the surface of Proxima b. These lights exhibit a consistent, non-random pattern that has sparked widespread speculation. While they might be the result of unfamiliar natural processes such as chemical reactions or volcanic activity, some scientists propose a more extraordinary explanation. The lights may be artificial, akin to city lights seen from space on Earth. If true, this could represent the first direct evidence of an advanced extraterrestrial civilization harnessing its star's energy. Proxima Centauri, being a red dwarf, emits powerful solar flares that could strip a planet's atmosphere and render it uninhabitable. Despite this, some researchers believe life on Proxima b might have found ways to endure, perhaps dwelling underground or beneath protective layers of ice, shielded from the worst of the radiation. Life on Earth thrives in extreme environments, from hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean to acidic lakes and frozen polar ice. So it is conceivable that similar resilience exists elsewhere. The discovery of these lights marks only the beginning. Upcoming instruments such as the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, and the Habitable Exoplanet Observatory, HabEx, are poised to elevate our capabilities even further. These tools will allow us to block starlight and directly observe planets like Proxima b. Meanwhile, initiatives like Breakthrough Starshot are engineering tiny, laser-propelled spacecraft capable of reaching 20% the speed of light. These probes could arrive at Proxima b in just a few decades, sending back unprecedented images and data. Scientifically, the discovery of lights on Proxima b is groundbreaking. If these signals prove to be artificial, we would have the first tangible evidence of intelligent life beyond Earth. This would raise profound questions. Who created the lights? How advanced is their technology? And how have they survived such harsh environmental conditions? Moreover, it would challenge our conventional definitions of habitable zones. We've long assumed that life requires Earth-like atmospheres and mild climates, but if life thrives on Proxima b, perhaps adaptability is more important than we thought. This development also opens the door to further exploration of similar systems. If Proxima b hosts life, what might we find on other nearby exoplanets such as LHS 1140b or TRAPPIST-1e? The cosmos might be teeming with life in forms we have yet to comprehend. Public interest has surged, with social media abuzz with theories, and academic institutions engaging in philosophical debates. Some political leaders advocate for caution, urging scientists to analyze the data thoroughly before making bold claims. Others see this as a beacon of hope, a possible confirmation that we are not alone in the universe. Efforts to communicate with any potential intelligence on Proxima b are being reconsidered. Projects like SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, have been scanning for radio signals for years without conclusive results. Now, Scientists are contemplating sending targeted signals using powerful radio telescopes. Yet this brings its own set of ethical questions. Should we announce our presence to a civilization we know nothing about? What if they are not friendly? Ultimately, the lights on Proxima b compel us to rethink our assumptions 
about where and how life can exist. For decades, we have looked for Earth-like worlds, but this discovery suggests that life may arise in places we've previously deemed uninhabitable. If the lights are artificial, we could be observing a civilization that has overcome immense challenges, a notion that would expand the boundaries of biology, technology, and planetary science. This moment is just the beginning. As tools like the extremely large telescope and breakthrough starshot come online, we are stepping into a new era of interstellar exploration. Some scientists even envision sending human missions to systems like Proxima Centauri in the distant future. While those goals may be decades away, interpreting the lights on Proxima B is our immediate challenge. Whether they are a natural occurrence, evidence of extraterrestrial life or something entirely unexpected, their implications are profound. The universe often reveals its secrets in whispers. These lights may be one such whisper, hinting at mysteries. Far beyond our current understanding, whether natural or technological, they encourage us to look deeper, to question more, and to remain curious. As we continue to gather data and refine our theories, one question remains at the heart of it all. Are we truly alone? Proxima B urges us to keep searching, to explore the unknown, and to imagine the possibilities that await us. What are your thoughts on the lights on Proxima B? Natural phenomenon or something more?